him as a friend. If not, can you elaborate to qualify? Questions from where? Bronx, from the Bronx. Can a Muslim take a non-Muslim person as a friend? Okay, tell you. No, your friends are Muslims. They are have they have to be Muslims. A coworker, an old friend from back in the day, from high school. You see him. It's a long time since you saw him. Hey, what's up? How you been? A family friend that was a friend with your father or your uncle, huh? Something like this. Someone who calls you friend. Hello, my friend. Many people they say this, uh huh? They say this just like, and I'm not trying to throw no one under the bus. However, some brothers, you go, you may go to a coffee shop with them. Huh? Brother starts speaking Spanish. And the lady's talking Spanish. She says coffee. Next, you know, she is mi amor, huh? <laughs> and the brother, he says, no, no, it's not like that, Mufti. It's not like that. It's not like that. She calls everyone mi amor. <laughs> I said, yeah, we were in this coffee shop for how long? I didn't see her call no one that, what? <laughs> but you. So the point is, and now I'm not going to mention the brother's name. Maybe he's watching, maybe what? Maybe he's not. Abu Saeed's campaign. Allah knows best. What's important is, what's important is, is that there's some people who say my love or my friend to, to all types of people, right? And they don't actually mean it, okay? As far as someone who's your actual friend, your homie that you hang out with, you travel with, you eat with, you share secrets with, and a person is not a believer, not a Muslim, that's a problem. Rather, it's not just about someone being a Muslim, but someone being a righteous Muslim, a pious Muslim, Someone who shares your views and your visions of the purpose of life and the reality of death. So there are people who are Muslim. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. That you should hang out with and they should not be your friends. Are we understanding this? And anyone who reads the Quran and the Sunnah and opens his eyes and ears will clearly find this. The concept of company and the concept of the wali. Who is your wali? Alright? And the concept of congregating and being close to people who are other than believers. If you read the text of the Quran and Sunnah, it's very clear. Wallahu alam.